Hello everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving an equation with absolute values. This comes from an Olympiad problem where the result ends up being the absolute values being equal to each other. Anyways, if I can find the link I'll share with you down below. So we have a complex number Z whose absolute value equals the absolute value of 1 minus iz. So you take z, multiply by i, and subtract it from 1, and you still get the same absolute value. So a couple of things to talk about. First of all, this is a locus problem, so we're looking for complex numbers that satisfy this type of equation. Sometimes, as you know, when we have equations like the absolute value of z plus 1 equals the absolute value of z minus i, we get a circle, or sometimes we get a straight lines or a pair of straight lines. Sometimes we get an ellipse, different things, right? Geometric shapes or some type of graph. So that's what the locus problems are. And to be able to solve these problems, sometimes there are some templates that you can use, some formulas, which I believe is going to helpful, especially for, I think, G and similar exams. But anyways, we're just going to do this uh, with the brute force method because I don't... I don't see any uh, clear pattern here that I can use, okay? So let's go ahead and look at the meaning of absolute value and what we can do. In general, for these kinds of questions, you can replace Z with A plus BI, can't you? Does that look familiar? A plus BI, don't forget that. Now, if you do it on both sides, let's go ahead and evaluate absolute value of Z from here. It's gonna be the absolute value of a plus bi, which is going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared, right? And the absolute value of 1 minus iz is just going to be 1 minus i times a plus bi. Let's go ahead and simplify it. That is going to be 1 minus ai. i times bi is bi squared with a minus sign it's going to be minus bi squared, but i squared is negative 1, so that's just going to be a plus b. So now we have 1 plus b minus ai and the absolute value of that. So to find the absolute value of this expression, of course, we have to use the square root of 1 plus b squared plus a squared, and that will be the answer. Now we do have that these two absolute values are equal, so let's go ahead and set up an equality. The square root of a squared plus b squared equals the square root of 1 plus b squared plus a squared. Awesome. Now something interesting happens here because we have an inequality and you see a squared and b squared on both sides. Let's go ahead and square both sides first to get rid of the radical. And then we get a squared plus b squared equals 1 plus b squared plus a squared. Awesome. What happens to a squared? It just cancels out. So we can go ahead and get rid of these. And we end up with a simpler equation. Let's go ahead and expand the right-hand side. You could also do the following, by the way. You could just take square roots because a squared equals b squared or m squared equals n squared has two solutions. One of them is when the numbers are equal and the second one is when the numbers are opposite. So I can kind of write this as negative b equals 1 plus b. You guys also, I could also negate 1 plus b, but negating b is a lot easier. Well, if you look at the first equation, b equals 1 plus b has almost no meaning, right? Almost? Come on. b cancels out and 0 equals 1? Nonsense. This is not going to work. Maybe if b approaches infinity, but we're not talking about limits here. Come on. So this is the only equation we end up with, and that means 2b, a 2b or not 2b uh, pops up again, uh, we get b equals negative one-half. Awesome. But what happened to a? a just disappeared, right? Where did a go? Well, a disappears, which means that you can pretty much pick anything for a. So this means that our solutions are going to be z equals a plus bi, where a is any real number, and b is negative one-half. So we can pretty much write our numbers as a minus one-half i, and this would represent uh, all the solutions. Of course, 
a is a real number, I guess it's needless to say because by definition, a plus b i, a and b are real numbers. Make sense? Now let's go talk about the geometric meaning of this solution. I'm pretty sure you came up with a geometric solution. There's probably a geometric interpretation, something like the distance between 1 and i z, and i z basically means you take the z and rotate it 90 degrees, and then the distance between those two things. So let's go ahead and take a look. So we have a number z, right? Something like this. And we rotate it 90 degrees, like this. And then, that's multiplying by z. And we're kind of talking about the distance between this number and 1. Okay, so we have 1, 1 on the complex plane. We don't know what uh, the magnitude of z is, but let's just pretend it looks like this. So suppose this is 1, this is z, this is iz. And now I want the distance between the z and the origin, which is the absolute value, which is this one. I want this distance to equal this distance, right? So how is that going to happen? That would probably be the geometric approach here. Not good on geometry. I'm just going to go purely with the algebraic approach. But if you look at this number, what kind of numbers will satisfy this? A minus 1 half i. So a is free, the real part is free. It can be pretty much anything. But the imaginary part is fixed at negative 1 half. So our complex numbers have to be on this horizontal line. So as you can tell from this, obviously picking a z like this uh, would not work well because as you can see, the imaginary part of this is not. Maybe something like this would be more appropriate and you can kind of check that geometrically what that's going to look like. Okay, so that's what I understand from this. Hopefully someone else can uh, explain this in a better way. But anyways, this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.